Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 15 of our Unity Make an RPG series, and today I'm going to be going over player input, and it's going to uh, work itself into player movement. On this first video, I'm just going to cover basic how to look for an input, and then I'm going to go into the input manager, and then I'm going to uh, go into basic transform translation, so where we just move an object, and then I'm going to go into setting up our actual character controller and using... Uh, the different keys, the input manager, and a mouse to move a camera around. So kind of like a third-person uh, camera. It's not going to be super intense. Uh, it should be pretty straightforward, and uh, I hope you guys stick around for all the videos. Uh, so I'm in the same Unity project that we've been in the past few videos, and I made, went ahead and created a player movement folder, and I created a player movement script. So go ahead and do that. It's a C-sharp script. I just labeled it player movement. Please open that up in a mono develop. And you can see I've already started doing this since because I've tried to record this video before and it messed up the first time. Uh, so what I want to go over is just basic in, uh, how to capture an input from a key. And uh, the easiest way to do this, I think, um, it's not the best way, but the easiest, quickest, dirtiest way is to just make an if statement in the update and look for an input of, this, of that specific key. And so what you do is in the go ahead and keep the go in the update function and write an if statement and you're going to run you're going to want to write input dot get key and I'm just going to write it here just to show you what it would look like so it's input dot get get key and there's a few things you can look at there's get key down get key and get key up and I'm going to go over the differences now so with get key it's going to look for um, it's gonna in this case it's gonna look for W which I put in quotes and that's how you can look up the key codes for unity this is the when you put it in quotes you say put W unity or uh, excuse me the engine is gonna continually look for that key and in this case it's gonna make sure it's gonna look for whether uh, it's being pressed at all times and it's gonna continue whatever's in this as long as it's pressed it's gonna continue to output this debug statement Okay, so I'm going to control S to save. I'm going to go into Unity, and you're going to drag and drop the player movement script onto the main camera, and then press play. And I, what you're going to see here is when I press W, it's going to continually just keep doing whatever's in that if statement. So this is perfect for a situation. I'm going to pause it. It's perfect for a situation where you want the player to move forward or sideways. You know, it's perfect for a continuous action. Now the next two things we're going to look at is get key down and get key up, and they both take a key code. In this case, I used S and use S and A for both, and I added a debug statement just so that we can see it in action. And what you're going to see with these is that it's going to look, it's going to continue to look for that key, but once it goes down or up for A, down for S, it's going to stop. It's only going to do that function. Uh, it's only going to perform that function on the frame that. Uh, it sees it. So I'm going to control S to save. I'm going to go back to Unity and I'm going to press play. And I'm going to hold W. And as you can see, it did. We had 116 frames and so it, it outputted pressing W key 116 times. I'm going to press S and on it down, it found it on a half a frame so it outputted it twice. And I'm going to do A. There you go. It, I'm holding down A right now and it won't do it anymore. It only does it the once. And this is like the basic, basic input. And it's like, like I said, it's best, the first one, the W one, the get key, is best if you're looking for a specific uh, player movement. Uh, for Like if you're going straight or backwards or side to side, or uh, maybe you're panning a camera back and forth. Some, like I said, some continuous movement. For a key button down or up, you know, down is perfect maybe for space bar. So let's say we want to go in here. We're going to look for space. And we're going to say, let's change this to space key. I'm going to control S to save. And it's perfect for like a jump. So let's say we attach this and we're looking, we apply a force to our character that throws the character up. So it's perfect. I'm holding it right now. And I know you can't see the keyboard, but I'm holding the keyboard right now and it's not doing it. So like I said, get key up or get key down is perfect for those one time moves. These inputs are perfect for, like I said, certain situations. Uh, if you just want to get a quick and dirty demo going. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do real quick is look, we're going to look at just the mouse buttons. We're going to go if uh, input dot get, I think it's mouse button up or down. So we're going to go get mouse button. And the 
there's two mouse buttons. The generic is one and zero, and I believe it's zero is left and one is right. And uh, we can double check that. But I, real quick, I'll just put a one. One actually might be right, and we're just gonna go debug dot log, and um, we'll say mouse button. Okay, do a mouse button. Controls to save. We're gonna go back to Unity. Gonna clear this. Gonna press play, and okay, so mouse one. So mouse one is our right mouse button. Okay, so maybe you're making a uh, action. Let's say action game where you want to use a continuous mouse click, and you want to look for those inputs. It's the best way that you can look for just a mouse button. In this case one for right or zero for left and you can uh, call a function that performs some action maybe it's like a fighting move or something so then we'll do mouse let's go let's see mouse button let's say left because we know it's left now okay control s to save and so we got a left mouse button left and then this is our right left right left right so it's working perfectly as we wanted it. So this is just a, like I said, just a real quick dirty video uh, showing you guys how to get a quick prototype up running if you want to use the input, uh, just basic input.get keys or get mouse buttons. Uh, I should definitely explore the input function. There's a lot. You can look for touch. Uh, you can look for specific keystrokes. It's it's a really, really helpful tool. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to go over how to use Input Manager, and then we're going to apply it to an actual moving, start moving a uh, character model, or in this case, it's just going to be a box because I can't model. But we're going to be moving something around. Uh, that way we can go into more battling and leveling and really get this game rolling. Uh, I wanted to apologize for the lack of videos the last few days. I said it a couple of videos ago. Uh, I travel a lot for work, and I've been super busy. But uh, I should have one out every day this week. Hopefully, and uh, I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video.